Hello, I'm Zardis. Sit back, grab some coffee, and relapse as we build in Manor Lords. This will be a continuation of my Beginner's Guide series. Today we're going to be talking about the next steps in growing your small village. So what we want to do now is we want to look at this. What do we need to do to get another development point? Well, we need to upgrade our Burge plots to level 2. We need two of them at level two or higher. So we can come in and we can click on it. We can see what we need. Well, the requirements are not met. First of all, we need four logs. We have that, but we also need to fulfill everything they have here. So we need to build a church and we need to be providing clothing. So for clothing, we're gonna talk about that first. We need linen, leather, and yarn. Linen gets produced from flaps, which you can grow in a on a farm. Leather gets produced from hides. So one of our priorities today will be coming out and getting a hunting group so that they can get the wild animals. That's one supply of hides. The other one is coming in here and getting a goat shed that can provide hides. And I think it provides meat, even though it doesn't say it, but I think it does. And I, I don't count on that for sure, but I think that's what can happen. Now, I do want to see how many do we have? One, two, three, I, we've got 11 plots, and right now we have 10 families. So we're not going to get a whole lot more people moving in right now. So let's go ahead and get some more homes built to start here. And I think here is our market. What I want to do is I want to bring this road farther down. Oop, the, the game is saving. So of course it made the whole thing mad. But if we come down like this and build that road out that way, that should be good. And then we'll build a road out this way. And then we've got some space that we can add more burgage plots. We're gonna start here and come along like this. Come back. Let's go ahead and do that. And in fact, that will get us five burgage plots. And I think that'll be pretty good. Let's go ahead and build those. So those are queued up. Our one family that is available for doing construction will work on that. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, and that burgage plot is done. And we have enough money right now that we can pay to get another thing going. Now for food, we actually... Vegetables or eggs is fine. We're going to go ahead with vegetable so that they can start to do that. We've got another family moving in. And before we get the hunting, what I want to do is I want to come in and immediately get another forester in here because I want our, I want to make sure that our fuel supply is permanently sustainable. And I think we'll put it over here actually. And we'll bring the road out just a little bit further there. So we'll get a family on forestry to keep this all sustainable right away. And then the next family that comes in, will get the hunting going. And of course, I think we just saw a little bit more money come in. And so now we have enough that we can get another thing going. And right now I'm just alternating between vegetables and chickens for this group here. And that is going to increase our supply of both of those. Of course, vegetables are not growing right now because it is winter time but they will grow very soon and in fact it is march you can see they've already got them planted they did that super fast but uh yeah anyway okay we had another family move in so i'm going to go ahead and come in here and we're going to get a hunting camp and i want it relatively close to here but we don't want to build it in there because it will make the animals move but we'll go ahead and put this here uh, actually we'll put it where do we have a road we could bring a road out this way I want it kind of away from where we're going to have the woods for the uh, fuel and stuff. But we'll bring this, how about along like that? Which also gives us another purpose for having a road over here. So the hunting camp got built right away. We can go and add somebody to that. They will hunt until there's only 10 animals left in there. And then they'll take a break so that they can the animals can reproduce. But they will be providing uh, hides now and meat for sure. And the forester will go ahead and assign somebody here, which will grow some more trees there and make that permanently sustainable. Now we have 16 living space and we have 12. So we have space for four more families to move in and that will be good. In the meantime, I want to come in here 
And we're going to continue alternating here. We can do a vegetable garden again. And then in a moment, we'll get this one to be set to chicken coop. And that should be helping our supply a little bit. We're going to get more market stalls in a little bit. We've got families that are going to be moving in as well. There, we got one family just moved in. Excellent. So what I want that family to do is actually come over to the storehouse. And, oh, we already have somebody assigned there. Okay, how about the granary? We'll assign somebody to the granary, and they will start to uh, do a lot of moving things around. Now, this is the last one, and we need this to be chickens. And then these, I want to preserve for these things, which are the artisan upgrades. And why I want to reserve them is because it's a smaller space, and I don't know if it makes a difference how, how big their growing area is. But in case it does, I want to just have the other things there. Like a, a cobbler doesn't need a big plot for growing things. So we're going to leave that the way it is. So now we do have our food is decreasing. So that is a little bit concerning. Uh, it's spring now. The berry deposit has grown. That's part of what the issue is. Is we took a family off of berries and put them on wood cutting. Let's check. We've got plenty of firewood now. Let's take them back off of wood cutting for now and put them back on forager. And we have the stuff that we could grow an herb garden or create an herb garden. I think we'll go ahead and do that. Yeah, you can have an herb garden there. The more variety we have of stuff, the healthier our people will be and the less likely there will be any disease outbreaks. So that is one thing to keep in mind. We are getting more gold. Pretty soon we'll be able to make put one of these on goats, which goats will provide leather because actually, no, they don't. They provide um, hides. And so then I think we need to go into industry and we can then have a tannery to turn those hides into leather. So that will be another thing that we need somebody for. But that will give us the clothing stall supply that we need. And then we'll just need to get a church. And then we can upgrade to level two homes. Okay, we just had a family move in. And so I'm going to go ahead and put them on the woodcutter's lodge before I forget to get somebody back on there permanently. We also... Oh, we've got somebody in the forester already. So that is all good. And the, the forager can permanently be on here so they can be producing herbs during the winter, I think. I think that can work but in the meantime the hunting camp is actually they had their storage full but that is why we assigned somebody to the granary so that they could start to uh, be moving things into the bigger storage so the next thing we want to do we've got the money let's go ahead and get a hide a goat shed here and we should be getting materials crafting materials we have 12 hides already so we can come in here and we can get a tannery. And I think we'll go ahead and put the tannery over here. Yeah, we'll put that there. And so then they can take their hides from there and produce them. Let's go ahead and get a road back this way. And at some point we probably should put another storage thing somewhere around here as well, just to have more storage and be a little bit more efficient as well so that this one can really kind of focus on things like logs like none of this stuff is useful log piece transitory resource so yeah the logs are coming in and then going out right away but we are looking really good yeah now we're producing goats there we should have a better food supply now getting vegetables and berries yeah we've got 10 months of food so we're going to hold off on anything else for now well wait we've got a family ready to be assigned to this tannery and then we can upgrade now did we have any yeah some of these oh, those are just upgrade to level two i don't think we had any that could have an addition oh this one this one can't get anything in the back, but it can get an additional living space. So we'll go ahead and do that. I don't think any of the others could do it. 
no. Depends on the layout of the home and kind of the area. So that is going to increase the number of people who can live there. Okay, the tannery is done. Go ahead and assign the family. So they are going to start to produce things. The storehouse is completely full. Yeah, so what we could do is we can upgrade it to a large storehouse, and that will greatly expand the abscess there. I'm not ready to build a second one yet, because then we really should add a family to help move things, and we don't have that yet. But now we have a clothing stall, so pretty soon that clothing supply will be supplied. And here's the clothing stall. We don't have... There we go. We've got leather there. So that should immediately fulfill that, yes. So now the only thing we need to do yet to get to level 2 is to build a church. And the church, I think, I'm just going to look around here and decide where I want to put it. I could put it kind of downtown, but I want to reserve that space for more homes so that we can get homes really close to the marketplace. We could put it out here, but that is going to be our mine. That is a large or a rich thing too. I guess we could put it down here. You know, what if we put it by the well? That could be a good spot. Let's go ahead and do that. We're going to come in. We'll get a wooden church here. And I guess we'll put it on an angle. Yeah, like that. That is going to take 10 stone, which we started the game with 10 stone. And so that will get produced. Now, another thing I want to talk about real quick is this toggle here. So right now, this is showing all of our surplus of items, things that are not being used at all. If we switch this to total goods stored, then that goes up and we can see that we have 10 stone. But the 10 stone is currently reserved for this church. That's why it does not show up when we do that. So that is what that button does. Now, I just got an alert up here that a work area is empty. It is the forager hut. They don't have any more berries for the season that they can pick. So we could take them off of here and put them on something else, but I'm afraid I'm going to forget in the spring to put them back on. So I'm just going to leave them there. They can continue growing a little bit of herbs. I don't know if they can do that during the winter or not, but we'll see what happens with that. But our church is getting built, and then we will be about ready to upgrade our... Burgage plots to level two. Okay, the church is done. I'm going to come in and assign a person to it. And real quick, if you change the church bell, you get a steam achievement. So you can change that to a different sound and you'll get that steam achievement really quick. But now we should have everything we need here. We just need to use four logs to upgrade this to a level two. And how many do we need? We only need two of them to be upgraded. So we'll do this one over here too. And so when that is done, we will have everything we need to upgrade to the medium village. All right, we have achieved that. So now we can come up here, we get another point. I want to go right for deep mining. So we can start to really get our mining going. We've got this stone here and now that is going to be and when we build a mine there it will be an indefinite resource we don't have to worry about it running out because we have that deep mine development but what we do need to do is we need to get more people because we don't have enough to come in and add more uh, workers so what we're going to do is come over here we'll get five more built here and then we are continuing to build right around this marketplace. And our town is really coming together nicely. Of course, the rain kind of makes it a little bit gloomy, but the rain will go away eventually. And in the meantime, we're still paying attention to that amount of supplies. You always want to watch this number here. And I generally want it to be, yeah, I mean, 10 is good. At least five, I would say, because five, you know, you should be able to get through winter before you your berries come like can be harvested again but for now i mean our food is very good we've got a good variety we're not seeing a ton of meat because right now the meat those animals are having to uh, regenerate but we will get there yeah negative one meat because somebody ate some meat i honestly i don't know how we get negative for that but it happens and that is what it is 
eggs are a good one because they can be uh, produced through the winter because the chickens never stop laying the eggs. So I do like that. Now we've had some more people move in. So let's go ahead and come in here. We want to go to mining. We can come in a stone cutter camp right away. We're going to put that. We don't want to put it on the stone cutting, although it looks like there's a little gap in here, but we're going to go ahead and just put this here. And that should have this whole area within their work zone. So that'll get built right away. And then I believe we can just go ahead and upgrade it as well. And then it, that will once again turn this into an unlimited resource here. Okay, our stone cutter camp is done. We're going to go ahead and assign somebody here. And if we go to something, we can get this to be a deep mine, I believe. Okay, so I moved it because technically it says if it is built over a ridge deposit. So I moved it over here, but unfortunately, it seems that we can't do that. So there isn't even an upgrade here. We can demolish it, we can relocate it. And I'm gonna try one more thing really quick. No, our stone, uh, it seems that probably the deep mining can only be done on iron. So that is one thing to keep in mind. We can do the deep mining over here then, but not on the stone because there is no upgrade ability for that. So this stone will run out. We will not be trading away the stone because we will want that as much as we can get it. So instead, the next thing we're gonna do is come over here and we want to get mining the iron as well. We'll come in and we'll go ahead and set up the mining pit right here. Immediately, or like right on top of that. And we'll get a road down here right away. And then that mine, I also want to, let's see, we've got a lot of people now. So that's really good. I want to get a lot of people. We're not going to build more houses over here, but we will get this full. And actually, okay, our stone cutter is full. We're going to go ahead. We've got a large storehouse here. We can go ahead and get another family on that and they can start moving goods into the storehouse. But we're going to get a family over on the mining pit very soon. We do have the upgrade here. We can go ahead and upgrade that. So this is now a deep mine. It is indefinite. Where when, once that is built, it will be indefinite. And we will have unlimited supply of iron, which is very exciting. Because then we can come in. The next thing we want then is industry. We want a bloomery. But the first thing I want to do is we're going to get a storehouse here to store that iron and then we'll get a bloomery just queuing everything up here. And that's going to create iron slabs. Go ahead and put that there so that we can get a road in between here. Bring that road out that way. And then the iron slabs we can use with a smithy to create tools. And I believe the iron slabs we'll be able to use for some of the artisans as well. So we're going to have a lot of stuff going on here. This deep mine, we can already assign a family to it. So we've got a mining family there. And then we'll get people assigned to the storehouse as well. But this storehouse should be getting more stuff in it. Yeah. So our stone, we've got a ton of stone already, which is really good. We could come in here pretty soon and get a uh, upgrade to the church as well. But we're going to need clay for that first, which we've got a regular clay deposit. We don't have a ton of clay in this area, but that will all work and get us going to the next part. Okay, these things are built. We've got some families available. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this right away, and then we'll get somebody assigned to it. But we'll go ahead and get somebody in the bloomery and somebody in the smithy. So we should be producing tools. Let's go ahead and give them fuel reserves so they will store some fuel there and never have to run out and it, uh, need to be refueled. So that kind of makes some of the charcoal reserved for them. Look at how much firewood we have compared to charcoal. At some point we might need to get more more people so that we can get some more, you know, like get more efficient. So I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and get some more people in here. We do have a little bit of a food issue. Food 
we need to get more vegetables. I think that's really where we're going to get more growth and food supplies. So let's go ahead and we're going to get some more vegetables going. We'll get maybe three of these on vegetables and we'll go ahead and assign three of these to eggs as well. And so that should really increase our food supply. And in the meantime, we could come in here and get some more homes going. Let's go ahead and get this here. Bring it around like that and up over there. I don't like how that worked out. Only three homes in there? No. We're gonna redo this. There we go. That's a bit better. Let's see if it improves at all. Nope. One, two, three, four. I will accept four there. And yeah. So one thing we can do right now is go into our trading post and we are uh, creating a lot of tools. So we do need a route for this one. So we have to go over here and we have to establish a trade route. So we're gonna do that and go ahead and establish. And then we want to export our tools. I'd say, again, set the minimum at 25. And then we're going to get six uh, gold every time we export that. We're like six gold for each of that. So that is going to cre uh, create a lot of regional wealth. We have a lot of these done, very good. And we have, this is done. So we can go ahead and assign somebody there. We only have, okay, now we just have somebody move in. I'm like, we only have one person left. Okay, but now we, we have more. So now we're in pretty good shape here. What I wanna do then is start thinking about getting to the next development level. And we need to get three more uh, level two things. And we can go ahead and just get these going right away. That gives us three right away, and that will get us to getting our next development point. We're making good progress, and we've had more people move in, so I'm going to go ahead and assign another person to the charcoal kiln because we have a lot more firewood than charcoal, so we're going to get that going. And then we also are going to come in here to this burgage plot, and I want to create an artisan. We're going to have them be a cobbler, so they're going to turn that leather into shoes, which will be a clothing type, and that will take them out of being able to do anything else. So when you do an artisan, that is the only job they can have. When you do a far, like a vegetable garden or chicken coop or goats, they can have, that's just a side gig. They can be assigned to a primary job as well. So. That's one thing you have to balance. You have to have the artisans will need to... See, now we've got a cobbler here. He's going to be creating that. This is a level two, so we also we need to be creating shoes. It's going to help us supply a second type there. Hey, look at that. Now we have reached the next development level. Way to go, us. So now we have gotten to a point that we can start to see... To get to the next one, we're going to need level three or higher. So like I was saying, we're going to need to get to another clothing supply, which will be those shoes from the cobbler. And he should have the leather. If we go up here to crafting materials, there's 33 leather that he can use, and that leather can be turned into uh, shoes. So that'll be good as well. And actually, our commodities, we have those herbs. So I wonder if we should come in here. Actually, the first thing we should do is we should come in here and upgrade this hitching post to a stable. And we're going to do the same thing here. Upgrade to a small stable. And then we can get another ops here and we can get two horses here, which will help improve our trade as well. So now that we have another development point, let's go ahead and see what we can do. We can come in here and we can get basic armoring, which will allow us to create helmets at a blacksmith. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And now we can come in and I believe that will require us to upgrade. Although no, I think, will they just automatically start to produce them? They might. In which case, we will start to see helmets being produced over there. And then once we get another upgrade, we'll be able to do even more. 
actually what we want to do is it's going to take an artisan to do that so we do have capacity we can get another artisan in here we can come in here to the cobbler and we can go ahead and do the armorer's workshop now we could do a blacksmith workshop then they'll be able to do tools spears and sidearms here but i think we'll go ahead and do the armorer's workshop and then they will be producing helmets here so now we're going to be producing helmets and we don't need any of those. So let's go ahead and go to trade, go to military and find helmets. We need a route for that, 72 gold to get it set up. But we will get, we can export all of our helmets and get a bunch of gold for that. So that will be a good investment. Now we are watching this uh, supply again. We're at 10 food, 10 months of food. So that is good. We are in good shape. I think we want to get more people because we want to get a few more uh, artisans but also we're going to need to get a tavern and a church upgrade before we can get any farther but I think this is probably a good spot to stop for today so be sure to continue following along hit the subscribe so that you can catch more uh, manor lords videos and on the video on the screen now it should be the next one in the series if it's out and might be members only if you're getting you know, like members get access early so that would be why it's members only but if it's out for the public already it's there otherwise click on whatever is there so that you can watch more content but thanks for watching and i will catch you next time take care